Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can change the default font that is in use in Illustrator for a single document type. This isn't as easy as it might at first seem, but this is what you're going to do. First of all, open up Illustrator, go to New File and determine the kind of new file that you typically create. Do you create mobile, web, print, film and video or whatever? Now I've changed my web and print one, so in this video I'm going to look for art and illustration and I'm going to say well typically I come in here and I create art and illustration type files and when I open a file or create a file I've got a typeface that I don't like. It's A, the font I don't like and it's a really stupid size. So let's just get out of there. I am going now to have a look at my Adobe Illustrator application storage location. So I'm using an app called Everything, but you can use anything that you can use to have a look at files and folders on your computer. And what you're going to do is look for a location called New Document Profiles. And what you want to do is match the document profiles for the version of Illustrator that you're using. This is really critical. So I have a number of versions of Illustrator on this particular computer. But it's the most recent one that I want here and that's Illustrator 26 that corresponds with Illustrator 2022. So I'm going to right click because in this application I can copy the full name to the clipboard using this application. Otherwise you'll just note where it is. It's going to be on your main drive in users and your name or whatever user account you're using. It's in app data, roaming, Adobe, and then Adobe Illustrator. And the number here is going to correspond with the version of Illustrator you're using. If you've got multiple versions, make sure you get the right one. And then it'll be your country code. This is English US, but yours might be different. And it's going to be X64 because right now most of them are 64-bit applications. So you just want to note that. Then I'm going to come back into Illustrator here and I'm going to open the file that corresponds with what I want to do. So I am just going to show you what this is going to look like. So you're in some sort of location on your computer. You're going to right click down here and click paste or else you're going to navigate to this exact location. I'm going to click open. Now I said I was going to change my art and illustration. So in that case, I would select this file here. These are going to be the web ones here, print, mobile, film and video. So you'll find individual files here that will correspond with the type of tab for those new file documents in Illustrator. But this one I'm going to change as art and illustration. Obviously, if you wanted to change them all, you'd have to come back in and do this for web and print and mobile and film, etc. So this is the default document style for art and illustration. To change the font, we're going to window and then we're going to type and we're going to character styles. We're going to double click on this character style option here. Then we're going here to basic character formats and this is your default font. Well, mine is a really stupid size, so I'm going to make it 100 points and let's say for argument's sake, I want Calibri. So you're just going to type in your font name and I'd like it to be regular. So set this up so that it is the default font that you want to use for all documents of this type. Click OK. Close the dialog. Now when I'm here, I also like to make my thumbnails bigger, so I'm just going to do that. It's just setting them to 50 pixels so I can see them more clearly. Your mileage may differ, don't do that if you don't like it. And so now we're going to file and you'll see that we can't save it, but we're going to do save as and then we're going to navigate to this location again. So if you weren't in this location, you're going to need to navigate to it and you're going to save your art and illustration AI file. So let's click save. We're asked if we want to replace it. We'll go yes and click OK. And now we can close this. If you want to prove that this is working, just close Illustrator and restart it. So now this time I'm going to create a new file and because I said that I typically use art and illustration, let's go and create a poster. So I'm just going to click here on create. And if we go across here to layers, you'll see that we now have this new layer thumbnail and when I click on the type tool and click in my document, I've got 100 point Calibri. So the default setting for all new documents of the type art and illustration has been set. So as I said, if you use different ones of these tabbed options here, mobile, web, print, film and video, note the ampersand here, I think you're probably going to have to choose that particular preset, not the film and spelled out video one. 
or art and illustration, you're going to need to change one, two, three, four, five individual files to be able to have access to those settings for every single one of those types of documents as you create them. This is a real nuisance. It should be easier to understand. It's not easy to understand, but I hope that this has been of help to you. Before we finish up, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine is better. I also have Illustrator training at Udemy.com, and there is a referral link for every one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends, and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.